Hello everyone, my name is Tux Alba and welcome back to the Lovecraftian video game perspective and welcome to Elder Chaos. Elder Chaos is a Lovecraftian real-time strategy game in which you take the role of a cult. Your objective is to summon your deity and bring an end to the world as we know it. Your antagonists are the investigators who try to spew, naturally. The game takes place on a map and is ultimately a resource management game. The map has a number of locations where you can build buildings and your monsters and the investigators can travel between set locations. You have to manage a number of resources, you've got energy, what you ultimately need to summon your deity, but you also have souls, you do have monsters, you do have a limited amount of building spots, so you need to choose carefully what kind of buildings you build. There's a number of buildings, some of them produce energy, others strengthen your monsters, and you also have to decide whether or not you want to upgrade your buildings or whether you want to build several buildings instead that are weaker, but decrease the chance that you lose a lot of resources when one of your powerful and expensive buildings get destroyed. You summon monsters to fight the investigators and you have to decide whether you want to have a few strong monsters that have a good chance at beating the investigators or whether you rather have a lot of weaker monsters that can cover a lot of ground instead. You also have to decide where you want to build your buildings, whether you want to try to, to shield some of them or whether you want to spread out a lot so the chance that you get completely crippled is decreased and that's essentially uh, what you do here. There's a couple of other factors that come in such as random events and also the, your deity's special ability which has a cooldown so it can only be used every now and then so you have to keep an eye on set cooldown and yeah you might want to use it now but maybe you want to use it later so it's a traditional research management game. The game does take place in real time even though it can be paused which is quite convenient so you can always hit the pause button get an overview over what's currently going on and it also allows you to execute some moves because executing moves such as having a monster attack an investigator or upgrade a building or summon monsters requires you to zoom in on the locations a little bit so it can be a tad fiddly at the moment because this game here is still in development but the pause function essentially neutralized that because you don't really waste any time while you do it. With regard to graphics the game looks fine it actually looks quite colorful which is nice to see it's not just grim, dark and grey, and it does bring in uh, quite a number of monsters, and not only the usual suspects such as ghouls or deep ones, there's also monsters such as fire vampires from the extended Lovecraftian mythos, which is nice to see because a lot of these monsters don't make appearances in other games. The game's music is fine, it's nothing too special, but it does the job, and the game's difficulty is a bit mixed, that's a feeling that summoning a bunch of very strong monsters early on almost always nets me a victory but the game is still in development, so stuff like that can still be balanced out. Overall, I think it's uh, pretty well done. It is not really a spooky game, obviously, but it is quite nice to play the cult for once and not just fight Cthulhu, because there are a lot of games where you have a similar setup. They're a little bit board game-like. There are games such as Elder Signs Omens, but in those games you usually play the investigators. Not always, but often. And it's nice to see the tables turned and you being able to be the one who destroys the world. So I recommend to check out the game. The game is also currently being funded via an Indiegogo campaign, so I'm going to have a look at the game again once it gets its full release and has been finished and or expanded. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.